Oh my gosh! A fox is stalking my home! No! What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another colorful episode of the Not So Berry Challenge King Generation! Last time we finally aged up our main character character and her brother into teens in this episode we're going to show you guys the mini home makeover where the teens get their own room and also go to high school for the first time see if maybe august and amber get crushes also welcome back into february i am back to my usual uploads on wednesdays and sundays if you missed last wednesday's video go make sure to go watch it it's an occult baby challenge episode that i think you're gonna love and from here on out We'll be having our normal upload schedule and our normal schedule for stream. If you're interested also in what I've been working on in seeing blooper reels and also monthly personal AMAs with yours truly, you can go check out my Patreon. I post all of that stuff there. All right, let's get into the video now. That's enough, that's enough. I'm so excited. Welcome back. We're here at the Gnome's Arms. We still have Elmer Price here. So let's age him up. If we run into any of our other friends, might make them teens too. It might be fun having some of these Sims be teens. I really want Katrina and maybe Kaylee to age up and maybe Tara. I'll age up all of our little friends. Oh, it looks like some of the kids are going to be right over. Birthday boy is talking to Johnny. I feel like Johnny will get along with the twins so much more now that they're teens. <laughs> Two kids have arrived. Okay, great. We're going to change their ages as well. Nice. Okay, and here's Tara. Oh, look at him dancing. He's a little dancey boy. I love Amber, the birthday girl, chomping down her cake, enjoying herself oh my gosh the door just went through her head she looks like her head's just floating there as a reminder now that she is a little bit older we're gonna start working on her requirements for this challenge must marry a co-worker so that's like a, a little ways away must play an instrument master gourmet cooking and comedy skills master detective career and must live in a different world than the one they were raised in a lot of you guys were saying maybe sulani could be kind of a fun option for her it could be i'm kind of interested let me know if you guys have any other ideas besides Sulani in the comments below for that. But yeah, I think we're gonna start working on the instrument, gourmet cooking, and comedy skills while we're still a teen. I think that would be an excellent idea for our girl, Amber. August is hanging out with the team. Oh my gosh, funny introduction, by the way. Ask about day. He's like chatting with the teen girls that have come to hang out. Nice, nice, nice. Love to see it. I feel like August is going to be quite the catch at school. I think he's a very handsome sim. And Amber is pretty cute as well. Look at this little girl. Look at this little bean. Oh, Clover Abe is naked on the dance floor with our boy. Oh my goodness. Well, she's in her underpants. Poor Clover. I, it looks like we did not give her all of her clothes. Well, are any other teens? Oh, Elmer's up here. Why don't you introduce yourself to Elmer once you're done? Elmer Price. Perfect. Oh, and he's exhausted. It is 10 p.m. and August loves going to bed early and waking up early versus Amber likes going to bed later and waking up later. Mama Rose is coming upstairs to use the restroom too. Oh my gosh, they're such cuties. Who's this Amra Berry? Oh my gosh, are we related? Amara Berry is Indy Berry's kid. Okay, so Indy had two kids. He had had Amara and Nico. So technically Amara would be Rose's cousin. Let's friendly introduce ourselves. Let's have our mom introduce her to our cousin here. Or actually like, let's do a polite introduction since we want to become besties. It looks like Elmer and August are getting along very well, having some food together, hanging out. Amber's having fun chatting with Clover and Mara, both of which were possible love interests for our mom. It's looking kind of like it's getting kind of late. It's already 11.30. I'm gonna end the party early, send everybody home. I think we had a good birthday for the kids. Right now is time for me to show you the little mini makeover of the house. I didn't do much. I just made over the two rooms for the teens and the office and a little bit of the outdoor. So it's not super duper different, but I'm still excited to show you what I've done. So you can find it on my gallery. It's called the Pink Gen Cottage for Teens. Make sure you put on custom content because I think there's gonna be a couple custom content curtains or something. I really don't use a lot of custom content 
confident in my builds. But you can go check me out on the gallery at Kelsey Dangerous. Here we go. So I, what I did is I closed the gate in the front so that our chickens won't kind of get out. But we have a chicken coop now. This is where I kind of put the picnic area. I know the foxes might become a problem with the chickens. I'm willing to risk it. I think it'll be entertaining to like deal with. And then if I start being annoyed by it, I'll just remove the lot trait with the foxes. Or I'll let all the chickens die. You know, one of the other. <laughs> and then here is upstairs the two bedrooms. We've got Amber's room. And we have like this little get ready area over here. We have a little seating area. She has one of those chairs where she puts all of her clothes on the chair. So relatable. Her little closet over here. And then we have August's room. I kind of wanted him to be a singer songwriter. I still kind of want that to happen. So I have him have like a little keyboard here. He's got his own little desk computer area. He's giving me Troy Bolton vibes where he's like musical, but also a little athletic. So this is like the new updated office. I kind of mixed this like gray and black into the pink. It was a little challenging to be honest to like make it all work, but I really think that we got there in the end. But yeah, I really like the kind of like gray and pink. I think it matches the wallpaper really well. So that's the new office that our moms are sharing. I think it's like a really fun mix together. I'm gonna add some of these photos around. Perfect. So there's the family portraits over here. We got some more over here. That's the end. We can now buy some chickens which I'm kind of thrilled about. I'm thinking we want kind of like a rooster and then I want some like hen chicks. So now that'll be like Rose's new kind of thing. Oh my gosh, look at these cuties. Lock for chickens, but they can just like roam. Oh my God, look at the little chicks and the rooster. It's so cute. August is already in bed. As usual, he's a sleepy lad, but August, why don't you go to sleep? Amber is also gonna go to bed in her room. Rose is outside. She randomly cooked a blue steak. Great, all right, we'll put it into your inventory, I guess. But then you need to come back home while our chickens are sleeping. Oh, one of the chickens is nice. Oh, I forgot my wife loves knitting. We could knit things for the chickens. What a delight. Jacqueline, do you want to knit clothing for animals and specifically for chickens? We need to name them all. Let me know the names for the chickens in the comments. Why are the lights not turning on? That's what I wanna know. It's really weird. They're like in the dark here. This is so glitched. What just happened? Why are my auto lights like this? Well, it's fine. Did you finish up your project? Oh my gosh, yo. We'll put it on the chicken later. She's gonna go to bed now. She's tired. It's Saturday morning, our girl is up and she is hungry. You know what would be a great idea to do when you're up and hungry, Amber, is to go downstairs and try to cook yourself. We have fruit salad. Let's do a little single serving. She just cooks for herself apparently, but she's going to cook a single serving serving a fruit salad. Wow, it would look so cute in this room. Oh my God, the chickens are up and they're hungry. It's your call. Why don't you scatter some feed nearby and take your wife's little hat that she made and I want you to put it on him. Dress white rooster in the hat. Yes, Rose, she's up early, ready to go take care of the chicken. Oh my God, I wanna see how dapper he looks. He's so dapper. Maybe pet the white rooster. I don't know how roosters feel about this kind of stuff. But we we made our first piece of salad. Amazing, our little fruit salad for a girl. I wish it was not so dark. You know what? Maybe I'll just put auto lights all on. Turn on just all lights. You know what? That way I can see. Is it gonna cost us more? Yes, yes it will, but it'll be nice. So we're doing it. I really wanna be friends with someone, but they don't seem to really wanna be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? Just keeping friendly. You can't make anyone your friend, but you can, you know, just keep being friendly and see what happens. Let's go pet the white rooster. Does the rooster like being pet? Oh my gosh, so far so good. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Shoo Finnegan away. How did he get inside? I do kind of want my rooster to, though to like pick a fight with him. That would be kind of satisfying. So she started cooking, just fantastic. Why don't you practice your guitar, your new little skill? Oh my God, shoo it. Absolutely not, Fox. Get out. We're becoming friends with all of the chicks and I love it. This is so cute. And she's going to do like a little energy centering yoga outside with her little baby chicks. Everything's clean and doing great. She's loving her life with all her chicks. August is here. He's grabbing some food. Amber's really happy. She's liking playing the guitar. That's great, Amber. I love that for you. Ooh, we got some money today. Rose is still doing her nice little yoga amongst her chickens. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love this little rooster.
Amberst or just slip in, chatting with the hens. Amber's uncomfy. Amber, why don't you go take a shower then really fast? She also wants to be funny to five Sims and achieve a level three of comedy skill. We don't have to complete this aspiration. It's not a requirement, but I do want to like do our best. Oh, look at Amber. She's coming down to do some dancing downstairs to this random music that she's listening to. No, dude, you're not allowed to come cry in my bed, okay? That's my teen boy's bed. Not the mood, okay? Please leave. We don't know you, Marvin. You're being weird. Oh my gosh, look at Rose is also bopping. I'm obsessed with the chickens. I'm gonna like be coddling the crap out of the chickens lately. I can't help it. Amber, why don't you do your homework? Also, tell a little joke to your moms. She's hanging out with August though to do their homework. That's really cute. He needs to do his homework five times, join an after school activity and earn 500 simoleons. He's already earned 500 simoleons. I don't know doing what, but let's have him join an after school activity. That does sound like him. Amber's making jokes to her moms. Are you helping her with her homework? No, you're not. Why don't you do that? If you're just gonna sit here talking with her, you might as well help her with your her homework. August is being such a studious king, working on his goal-oriented teen aspiration, which is fun. August's homework is complete. All right, he's signing up for his after-school activity now. Computer team, no. Football team, yeah. He's gonna choose sports. Now he's gonna sit at his keyboard and play a little bit. Amber's finishing up her homework. Did you be funny to your other mom? She did not be fun to Jacqueline. Where's Jacqueline? There, okay. Why don't you tell her a little joke? August is having fun on the keyboard here. He's already trying to work towards his level three skill. I feel like his level three skill could either be piano or fitness. Amber is telling jokes to her mom and then we'll maybe make jokes to her brother too. She just loves being funny. She wants to level up in comedy skill. Oh, we'll definitely do that. We're gonna achieve a level three comedy skill. So why don't you work on writing some jokes on your computer? We're having a little get together before prom. Prom is today. They haven't even been to high school yet. I'm gonna not have them go to prom today. I want them to go to prom like later. He's gonna play a difficult practice with Jacqueline. His mom's gonna help him train up for football. That's so cute. Wait, why don't you hit the bathroom like really fast? I did also change it so that the entrance to the bathroom is here, so that he's not gonna have to go through his sister's room to get to the bathroom. So that's kind of nice too. Why don't you ask your mom to run the difficult football practice with your mom? Oh my goodness, so sweet. Look at him with his little skill. Look at that, good job, Jacqueline. Jacqueline's flexing on her son a little bit here. Oh, Jacqueline's upset. What are you upset? about Jacqueline? Jacqueline got a festering grudge and is hurt against August, her son? Why does she feel wronged by him? Maybe he said something or, you know, was kind of like being extra intense about football and she's just kind of like, my baby boy, he's acting so different. Why don't you go for a little energized jog since you're feeling raring to go? He got a painful football throw. He got a little injury. Why is my game glitching so much? Okay, come on, just jog to clear your mind. There he goes. Wow, it's glitching. Okay, I don't know how he's gonna work out. I guess we could get him like a little fitness thing in the backyard, something for him to work out with because like the jogging is not working for some reason. We could maybe like do a couple things. He's got a little fitness area back here. I'm sure his sister will never use it, but it's fine. That way he can work out. He's apparently going through jogs through the beautiful English countryside is not appealing to him, which is stupid in my opinion, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, Amber's already at comedy level three. What? She can now compose and perform several short routines at the computer and microphone respectively. That's huge, good job, Amber. Loving this for her. Okay, now he's gonna work out. He really wants to be like ahead of the game for football practice, so we're proud of him. Amber already crushing her requirements here. Oh, you're hungry again. Why don't you go downstairs and make some more food? Make yourself like a little lunch, maybe? Garden salad. Oh, we're gonna skip prom. They haven't even gone to high school yet. They need to, you know, go. Amber does love being mischievous. She's level two of mischief now, which is funny. She's like getting into her cooking era. Love this for her. Rose is coming over here to work out with her son. How cute is that? Oh, I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to want to be friends with me. Oh my gosh, his sister had the same problem. Just keep being friendly. August has already reached level two of fitness. Good job, August. He's almost level two on piano too, which is great. Amber's hooking up her little salad for lunch. He's loving the music, feeling very playful. She's getting a little tired. It was a Saturday well spent. I think tomorrow maybe they'll go out with some friends. Definitely our boy is going to be sore tomorrow. All he wants to do is like, like practice football and work out and everything. Go grab your leftovers, buddy. Maybe take a little shower, play some piano before bed. Amber, why don't you go to the bathroom quickly before you hit the bed? August, why don't you practice your little keyboard moments here? He also needs a little shower, so he'll take a shower quickly. Amber's gone to bed. Rose is already asleep in bed. And Jacqueline's having
having a lovely little meal here. We're gonna get to level three on a skill in no time, buddy. Crushing it. Actually, you know what? This will probably work better if you do go take a shower, but take like an inspired shower. And then you're gonna go play a little bit more. And mom, why don't you go to bed? Since everyone seems to be going to bed already. It is 11.30, so I guess it is time for my Sims to start heading to bed. Now he's gonna go play and he's gonna be inspired, so it's gonna go up way faster. Yeah! Good job, King. I love when the Sims use like the keyboard noises that sound like dogs barking. When I was a kid, I also had a keyboard that could do that noise. It also could do like the oceans or like gunshots and all this crazy stuff. And I was about it. I never really practiced piano like my mom wished, but I did like to mess around with the keyboard sounds. So he's level three now, crushing it. He's gonna go to bed and everyone is in bed. Who died? Stacy has passed away. She was so young. Are you kidding? What happened? Yeah, she She's just an adult. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to check out the neighborhood stories. Kayla Vitor in the Vitor household died. Kayla was milking it and got close to a cow plant. Okay. I don't see any neighborhood stories about people that we know. So odd. I wish it would tell us. Well, that is super sad that Stacy died. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh. Yay. The auto lights are working again. Yay. I turned them all off and back on and apparently it worked. So that's great. She's hungry again. You know what that means. Oh, she's going to cook eggs and toast. She's now in the habit of cooking for herself. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. Cook up your feast, queen. We will be at the fancy cooking in no time. I don't know when that gets unlocked, but at some point it will. I wonder if we have to master this before mastering that. You have to be level five in the cooking skill. See, I never noticed that. Amber's reached level two in the cooking skill though. Good job, Amber. Honestly, better than your mom who burned down the house one time while cooking. So impressive moments here. Mom is really proud of her. Why don't you join the cooking? She did not have to help much. She was pretty much done, which I love. That's super funny. Brother is looking to cook now. What are you cooking? He's cooking a tortilla wrapped veggie dog. We're gonna clean up around the house a little bit. Here we go, because we're good kids. We might be lazy, but our mom taught us well. What else do you wanna do? Why don't you practice the guitar again this morning? Oh, she wanted to work out. That's so cute, but you are lazy. So I'm kind of shocked that you would wanna work out. Versus August, it does make sense. Oh my God, I think he cooked that and then Rose ate it. Rose, poor boy. He made that whole thing. It's okay. He's like, it's fine, mom. You eat it. I'll eat the yogurt. He's going to take a bath to kind of like ease off his sore muscles. Then he might do another workout once that gets handled. Meanwhile, Amber reached level two of her guitar. She loves it. August is going to go work out. I didn't even tell him to do that. Yep. It's gone. So now he's going to go work out again. Good for you, King. Love this for you. Tomorrow is his first football practice. He does need to practice with his football a couple times. Maybe we'll do this after boxing. It is raining a bit. I hope it doesn't completely ruin the treadmill, but if so, it's fine. Rose's having a good time making a little teapot out of the clay again. Why don't you slow dance together with your wife, Jacqueline? That could be kind of cute. Oh, you guys are slow dancing in the rain. How romantic are they? Oh my gosh. Wait, they're slow dancing in the rain. Reminisce about wedding day. Maybe do a little serenade and then we need to feed the chicken. August is chilling. He needs to practice football. So can he practice football yourself? I think he has to practice with someone else. Maybe try practicing again, but doing a less intense practice. Maybe apologize to your mom and ask her to practice again. Enthuse about fitness. Be like, I've been so enjoying my fitness. Do you mind doing a regular practice with me? He's got the innocent personality type. Positivity and happiness has a great power to uplift others, but they can appear very childish and optimistic. Perspective causes them to be too naive. Ooh, I kind of like that for August. We've scattered some feet for the chickens. He's gonna play some football with his mom, kind of showing off how much he's improved already in his skills. And he's just passing back and forth. Mom's also doing pretty good. Look at you go, Jacqueline. How is her fitness? She's level two. She's a little bit above him. Oh, she accidentally smacked him in the face. Maybe it was warranted after last time. Rose, oh, she's gonna go cry a little bit in her bed. Poor baby Rose. Amber's already level three with guitar. I sometimes just leave her on tap asks and forget about it, which is very entertaining. Have you finished your football requirement? Okay, he's done half of it. He's gonna go make a mac and cheese. Okay, good for you, King. Amber is still going away, but oh my gosh, Rose is listening to her. Why don't you cheer for your daughter? Why don't you take like a fun little bubble bath, kind of make your mood go up a bit. August, have you finished your mac and cheese? He did. He made himself a big heaping pile of mac and cheese. He's gonna enjoy sitting down, listening to some tunes. Jacqueline is gonna sit with 
with him. Enthuse about botany. That's Jacqueline's favorite. They're having such a nice convo. So sweet. Everyone's doing great. This is a rainy day. We didn't actually go out. I thought she would go out and like meet up with some friends, but it's been so rainy out. Maybe we could invite some friends over. Maybe Marco. Invite him to hang out at the current lot and we'll invite over Tara. August just wants to practice football. You know what? Why don't you invite over your friend Elmer and maybe he'll play football with you, okay? Oh my God, he's gonna go work out again. Bro, he's addicted. Elmer's over though. Why don't you ask Elmer to work out with you? Convinced to join the team. That's so cute. Yeah, why don't you convince him to join the team and then you guys can play football together. Practice regular football with Elmer. Oh my God, I think he might join the football team with us. He's enthusing about interests and then we're gonna play some football together. Meanwhile, Amber's friends, where are they? There she is, there's one. I don't know where our other friend went. Who is this over here? It's Jacqueline. Oh, Jacqueline's decided to pick up working out as well in the backyard. Are you finally done August with your requirement of football? No, he's still not done with his requirement of football. He's still only at 50%, it's just wild. Amber and Tara are really close. I think Tara's still her BFF. Let's give Tara a makeover. I'm ready for it. But I kind of want to give her a little something else. Okay, speaking of something else, these eyebrows are something else for sure. We can do like kind of a more, yeah, chilled eyebrow. And then I kind of like this like medium hair length vibe. This one's kind of nice. I like this one. I like the bodysuit. I just don't like the shoes that go with it. I feel like you could do better with like a pair of nice sandals or something. I think that's good. All right, let's pick out Tara's formal wear. Oh, this one, perfect. So glam. So here's Tara. We've got like kind of two different vibes and fits for Tara, which I'm really liking. I'm liking the different stuff. Here's a formal look. Uh, fitness, sleepy wear, party wear. I think Tara's pretty cute, pretty fashionable, pretty fun. Tara's officially our best friend. And we love Tara. A best friend who isn't related to us? Novel. What a concept. In my Let's Plays, you'd never see it. <laughs> We've joked with three Sims of five. How's August doing? Oh, he's crushing. 75% done with his goal. But we're in level two, almost level three of cooking. She's feeling stinky, so let's have her take a little quick shower. August is still throwing around the old pig skin, feeling very focused. He completed his football practice. Amazing, I love that for him. He's feeling really focused, headed for the big leagues, he says. Not enough exercise. He does not feel like he's had enough exercise today. Are you kidding me? August is absolutely insane. That's the only thing you've done all day is exercise, but whatever, that's fine. Amber's feeling so inspired. We still need to be funny with like two other Sims, but we'll be funny at Sims tomorrow at school when we go to high school with everyone. We are hungry again. Tara, do you want us to cook you something? Vegetable dumplings, that sounds kind of good. August is now doing football with Tara. August, that's enough. Stop asking my bestie to do football with you. You flipping weirdo. Go use the toilet and then maybe play some of your instrument. Amber is going to eat some of her excellent vegetable dumplings. Good job, Amber. Probably because she was inspired. She's now level three of cooking. I think her guitar and cooking and comedy are going super well because of her boosts as a kid. I also think August is getting some boosts from fitness and piano, which we love to see. Amber's goofing with her mom as usual. It's interesting that she is lazy because she does like cooking elaborate meals. You're like, what are you lazy? about. I guess just not working out. I don't know what she's lazy about considering she wants to make gourmet meals for herself. I don't feel like that screams laziness. Go practice your guitar for fun. August is practicing his. He wants to do extra credit work. Of course you do, buddy. Oh my God, mom is dancing. This is cracking me up. Why don't we play some music for our moms? Oh my gosh, is she gonna go outside to do it? She's gonna practice guitar outside in the rain. A vibe, I guess, a mood. She is afraid of the dark, but she's feeling pretty good playing outside. August is very focused working on his homework. It's 10.30 though, you guys have school tomorrow. So I think you guys might wanna go to bed. First day of high school tomorrow. Rose, are you gonna come in and help him? Why don't you go help him with his homework here? All right, he finished his extra credit. Did that count towards doing his homework? It did not. Oh wait, he's gonna go get some food. That's a good idea. Rose, you need to go to sleep as well. You're tired. Good night, everyone. I'm so excited. I think our second night in our separate rooms, but I think we're crushing. Hopefully all our chickens are doing well. I think 
they are. Oh my God. Someone left our guitar outside. Maybe we put that back in your bedroom, girl. Like, come on. Oh, look how the fireflies are all out. It's gorgeous. And look who's up, it's Amber. She's up at 5.30. She must be so excited to go. Oh, she's reacting to her first puberty changes. Oh no, you hidden puberty girly. It's okay. Why don't you go wash your face, okay? Apply some facial cleanser. Go use the toilet. It's all good, girl, okay? It's so normal. Don't even worry about it. There you go. I hate that the cleanser used to like wash their face and now it just puts powder on their face. Feels like the opposite of what you'd want to do in that scenario, but it's fine. Oh, and look who else is up. It's August. Gonna go get an early morning gym session. Are you flipping kidding me? He is sore and it is literally storming outside. He was halfway to running outside. Oh my gosh, bro. Go take a brisk shower, make you all energized. Amber is like, oh, I want to make uh, some breakfast for everyone. Scrambled eggs with bacon. We'll do a family size of that one. Amber's gonna go cook a scrambled eggs for everybody. Oh, hen chick has grown up into a hen. Oh my gosh, yay. You need to go scatter some feed and clean the coop. You poor babies. It is really stormy. Pet the rooster. Where is the other chick? Oh, it's right here. We've got everybody sorted. Jacqueline, would you want to grab some leftovers? But also I feel like Jacqueline could also knit a little fit for the new chicken. August is feeling very good. He's feeling nicely energized. You could do some like push-ups or something. Oh, select which students to follow. I'm gonna follow both of them. We're going to high school. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Woohoo, we're off to school and it's not raining here. Thank goodness. The teens are ready. Okay, Amber is ready to go. And so is August. August is already feeling ready to go. Okay, at our school, we have what looks like an alien named Tanya Archer. Susanna Lothario, she's very cute. Lindsay Purry, who is a teen and really likes cats. We've got some Sims over here. Edward Sheldon, Kenya Landgrab, and we have Betsy Volkov. That's, I think, it at the moment. Let's both of you learn about the school from the new principal here. Yeah, I'm thinking there's not really anyone here for Amber that I'm seeing, but I definitely think that August could have the hots for Susanna. Both of the kids are going to check in with the principal first day of school vibes. They're both doing respectful introductions. They're gonna learn about the new school. Welcome to Copperdale High School. I hope you settle in without much trouble. We have two periods, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Otherwise, we give our students the freedom to interact and socialize with their peers to study on their own pace. You'll be in class one. You should go find your teacher, say hello. Keep in mind, there are exams every Friday. You can find a way to a computer to study for your exams or even just pull out your notes and prep that way. Our faculty will always hold study sessions after school on Wednesdays. So maybe we'll have to stay after school. All right, next up, the twins are going to claim lockers. These ones. August is going over to claim his locker. Obviously he's gonna decorate it. Sporty decorations. Oh, it looks like this Sim, Cheyenne, already took her locker. Maybe we'll do this locker over here. Even though it's already decorated, she's just gonna be lazy. She doesn't wanna go too far. And then we will remove decorations. She'd be too lazy to put any decorations on her locker. So let's go here to attend their first math class. There's like a couple Sims that aren't completely wild looking, you know, unlike some of the Sims. Oh, this Sim, Amia Ross also could be cute. Lindsay Purry is just, you know, it's giving me Kitty Purry vibes. Not into it. In our class, I don't really find anyone that exciting. So class two, I think might have more of the students that we're interested in. Passing notes. I'm pulling out the T. Amber was about to start dozing off, classic Amber. When another student passes her a note and points at another student, Amber didn't even know passing notes was still a thing in social media and phones. Does Amber continue the note chain or maybe add some changes to the note? Oh, she'd want to add some changes, the little goofball. Amber added a few scribbles because she thought it would cause a laugh, but then no one was happy about it. All Amber got for additions was a little extra irritation from her classmates. You know what? The people in your class aren't it, okay? We've already decided that. Studying hard in math class, doing a good job. Oh, it's almost Jacqueline's birthday. Oh my God, terrifying, terrifying that it's almost Jacqueline's birthday. Class is over. Let's be friendly with a student. Who would Amber want to be friends with? Oh, she already has beef with Lindsay Burry. Okay. Oh, and Cheyenne. Oh, and Tonya Archer. Wow, she's got beef with a lot of Sims already. How and why? I don't know. Let's see if there's anyone else in her class. Kenya Landgrab also doesn't like her. Oh my God, there's so many Sims that just aren't into her. Out of these, Amya Ross. And then August, why don't you introduce yourself? 
resolve to Susanna. Okay. Oh, it looks like her friend's very sad. Well, perfect target for Amber because she loves making people feel better. August is going to go talk to Susanna. I'm really invested in August's conversation with Susanna. I really, really want him to kind of become possibly romantically linked. So far, so good with both of them. And then we're going to heartfelt compliment. We're going to just chat with Susanna a bit. Oh my gosh. August is a major crush on Susanna. I knew it. I knew this would happen. Cheers. <laughs> She's feeling playful. She's also been funny to four Sims now. They're both a little hungry. Why don't we go grab some food? Why don't you grab like a hamburger slider? Sounds like August would get it. Oh, they're eating lunch together. Amazing. Tell like a little knock knock joke. Tell a joke about penguins. She's really trying. August also sat down. All he can think about is like his new crush. Wait, can he like study? Think about crush. Oh my gosh. Think about Susanna. Go attend your science class after you think about your crush. And Amber is in class. So far, so good. August just already has a crush first day of school. Adorable. Amber's like making friends as usual. She's pretty good at it. Let's maybe open our social bunny and add some friends to the list. So we're gonna add Tara, our bestie, obviously. We're gonna add Amya, Bailey. Oh, Bailey aged up. Marco, Haley, Elmer, and August, Avi. And then August on your social bunny, he's going to add Kenya. He's gonna add Susanna, Tara, Ben, Elmer. Kaylee T, Katrina. Let's set a little post. Uncle Johnny really wants to be friends on Social Bunny. No, Uncle Johnny, I don't want to be friends. Let's do an energized narrative about orientation. He's gonna be like, first day energy, everyone's buzzing about. And Amber's gonna post on Social Bunny. I wish there was a funny one. She's gonna write a happy one. First day meets a fresh start. I'm most excited to make new friends and see what subjects I'm best in. He's going to football practice today, which will be exciting for him. I think he's gonna be very excited about going to that. And Amber's probably just gonna go home and do homework and do the normal stuff. School is over and they learned a lot and impressed their teachers. Good job. Okay, kids, I'm gonna have you both go home because August goes to practice in about like 20 minutes. So I kind of want him to go home first. So we're all going home, but maybe like on Wednesday, we'll stay after to study, see if any of like our school friends, crushes, etc., stay. The tea is hot. Oh, and it's raining. Why don't you guys go run inside here? Rose, why don't you go downstairs, sit here, and then pay the bills? Actually, August, he goes to... Oh, he needs to go now. Go to practice. Dude, why is he not going? He's super late. What the heck? I had this, like, perfect. Off to football. Okay, there we go. Dang it. He's gonna practice hard, but, like, that makes me super sad that he, like, didn't crush football practice today. Oh, my God. Why did you... You go outside to view that girl it's pouring rain go home go back inside you weirdo go take a shower how's rose rose is just playing with the clay as usual it's like kind of her new favorite activity it's so sad i want her to bond with the chickens but she just can't because it's all rainy and the chickens are cooped up pun intended <laughs> Let's focus on some of Amber's skills here. We'll have her do her homework. Jacqueline came home, earned some money from work today. I think Jacqueline's gonna retire when she comes an elder for sure. August is back from football. How'd you do, August? He's just average. Oh, flip. I think next time we'll just have him stay at school for that extra 20 minutes so we don't like miss going to practice. Amber, come uh, sit down and then do your homework. He's super embarrassed from his mom walking in to wash dishes on him. That's funny. Now you got to do your homework too. I love that the kids are doing their homework together in here. The teens are getting help with their homework, which is cute. Oh, Jacqueline just became good friends with August. And August just became good friends with Jacqueline. That's so sweet. We're helping the kids with their homework today. So they're all in his room, which is very funny. Amber, finish your homework. Good job, Amber. Why don't you go use the toilet? And then I need you to maybe like work on your guitar skill. August needs some fun. Is it still raining out? It's not. Okay, great. He wanted to work out. Just go practice with Jacqueline. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. A fox is stalking my home. No. Where's the fox? Oh, we're coming for you. We're coming for you, buddy. Finnegan, get out of here, okay? My chickens are adorable and I'm collecting the eggs and I'm cleaning the coop, okay? We're taking care of these chickens. Our eggs have been collected. We collected one egg from the chicken coop. Amazing. How cute is that? We're gonna put the eggs in the fridge here. They're finally going outside to practice football at 11. Very impressed with his skill. He's very excited to practice. It's so cute. I love that they're both kind of getting better.
better together. Jacqueline's a little tense because she's still a little resentful of like him being kind of rough with her and growing up and everything, but they're crushing it. All right, now they're 50% done. I'm so proud of him doing his homework. He's such a good kid. Doing extra credit. Oh my gosh. Also, the kids will have to get their own like pets fairly soon. Maybe they'll get them when they move out. All right, he's going upstairs. Gonna go to bed and everyone's asleep. And look who's up, Amber. I love that Amber wakes up as he goes to bed. She wants to have a quick meal. Not in this house, Amber, okay? I need you to start mastering the skill. So you're gonna cook something yummy. Ooh, pancakes. Yeah, let's do a pancake. I love that her brother stays up until like 2 a.m. working out and she's like, I'm gonna wake up early and make myself pancakes. <laughs> Ooh, she likes cooking. That is literally perfect. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. Let's clean the coop. Let's collect the eggs. Let's scatter some feed. Oh my God, our chick is out here. What are you doing out here, chick? Call over the head, chick. Get back inside. I thought I locked these doors. Oh, we're gonna go with the kids to school. All right, we're back at school. Oh, he wants to work out on the exercise machine. Of course he does this morning. All right, why don't you say a little good morning to your crush, Susanna. Talk about the sunny weather to her, and then you're gonna go work out downstairs on, let's do the treadmill, do a little endurance run. And then Amber wants to study for her exams, which kind of has been glitched for me. Let me know if this has been glitched for you too. So I'll click on them and I'll try to study for exams on everything and nothing will work. There's no option for studying for exams anywhere. We can even try to do it on the computer down here. It won't pop up as an option. It's kind of frustrating. T-pose challenge. This 100% sounds like something she would join in. So let's join the T-pose challenge. August is gonna go say hi to his crush. Go August, go. You're looking cute today. Wearing your fit, looking adorable. Be like, hey. Oh my gosh, she's in the chess team. How cute is that? Susanna's like really smart. Brighten her day and give her a little heartfelt comment. Compliment. Amber's like doing the T-pose challenge. <laughs> She's such a goof. She's just like, yep, yeah, this is me now. I'm not studying for exams. I'm T-posing, baby. And August, meanwhile, is going to be practicing his football. He's really gunning for being like top of the team here. Oh God. Oh wow. Why is she in here with uh, Oscar Barry? Wait, introduce yourself, Oscar Barry. Are you related to us? Regardless, it's almost time for class now. Oh my gosh, Oscar Barry. We've got to add him on Social Bunny. It looks like he's probably related to us. Friends, add a contact, Oscar berry baby Ooh, we got some messages you look like a shame llama oh my gosh you goof that's how close of friends they are that they're allowed to diss each other apparently but let's send a little nice message to our friend Susanna because we were of a crush on her we learned about archaeology in social studies class how cute is that Amber's really studying hard Curtis is new in class today so is Edward Sheldon Ooh, August was distracted by trying to find the right color pen for his note-taking he's so particular and missed the part of with the teacher's lecture. Phrase CT, but doesn't know what the acronym stands for. What could it have been? I think critical thinking. August quickly takes notes, but still somewhat behind. It was a lucky guess, but next time he really should listen. Okay. He's, his mind's too much on football lately. And also Susanna. <laughs> They're doing super well at school so far. They're both B students, but really good B students. So they'll probably be A students soon, but I kind of want to keep Amber as a B student. And I think August will definitely be an A student. I can't wait to get him to the top of the football team. And with Amber, I cannot wait to get her going on maybe the comedy circuit a little bit, doing maybe some talent show business, who knows? But I'm gonna leave this one right here. I'm really excited about August's crush, getting them all prepared for prom. I'll see you guys next on Wednesday for the Wednesday video as usual. And I'll see you on Saturday for the next Not So Very Challenge video. And until then, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye!